Hello, welcome back to uh, another tutorial of Broken Arrow Beads. So I had a video request of how to complete the bottom of these lighters with, um, so that it looks like it's a beaded bottom. So with this, this is that three drop gourd stitch. So with these lighters, I just beaded the bottom. So today I'm just going to show you a video of how to do that. Now each bottom of the beaded lighter is going to look different because how you add the beads will never be the same. And I've tried to keep it as similar as I could, but each, each pattern of the bottom is is different for each for each lighter case that you bead. So now I saved a piece for this project and this is the piece that I'm going to be working on. And today let's start beading the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first of all, I've left a long enough thread for me to uh, no, actually what I did was I looped the thread through uh, a new piece of thread, just weaved it back and forth, back and forth, till I ended up at another, just another bead that's at the peak right here. So I'm just going to bring the camera in closer so that we can have a better look at this. Okay, so what, okay, so now that I have my thread and needle, all I'm going to do for this is just pick up one bead and so I'm going to take my thread and needle and just go through the next top, the next bead that's at the peak. Put my needle, th needle through there, pull that through, and that bead will just fall in place. So now I'm going to repeat that, pick up another bead, and take my needle and go through the next bead that's at the top, like the peak right there. So as I'm doing this, the beads will fall in place and they're kind of above the base of the lighter, but that's okay. So I'm just going to keep going around. Just like that. And I'm going to try my best to keep the, ca the, the work that I'm doing in view of the camera.
Okay, now I know I'm getting around to the end of that row because what's going to happen is I'm going to get to that bridge part. So even though it's in reverse, because I'm not going, instead of going this way towards the right, I'm working towards the left. How, so it's still the same principle. So now I just need to pick up the last bead, put it through this one here, because that would have been, that's the last bead of that row. And then now remember the bridge. So I just go through there or the step up as um, someone had called it there. So now that's the first round of the bottom. Now you can see how that row is um, above the bottom of the lighter. That's okay because what's going to happen is when I add the next row, they're going to start to curve over that corner or the edge of the lighter. So I'm going to keep going with the next row just like I did as before. So I'm going to put my needle through that peak bead and just keep doing that till for the next uh, round. So I hope the camera isn't wiggling too much, but I do notice there is a little bit of a wiggle. Trying not to hit the table too much. So I noticed like the beads are not perfectly uniform. Like you have some beads that are more fatter and some beads that are a little bit thinner. And that's okay because with this weaving or beading technique, the beads will fall into place and they'll just kind of settle into their own little spots. And as you could see, you can't really tell that you got fat beads or thin beads. So, but they, like it's all lined up nice and neat. So it's not a biggie if they're like different sizes. Sometimes my hand gets a little shaky, but okay, so now, now I know I'm, that's the second row that I've just completed. So I'm just going to start the third row here. So now, as you can see, I'll just 
way it seemed to be. Okay. Now, as you can see, this the the beads are starting to kind of get a little tighter, even on the second row. Like they're going to start folding over around the bottom here. So now we'll go to the third row. And now this is where the third row, because you can't see that space as clearly as the first and second row, or as if you were going to go around the circumference of the lighter, because the beads are starting to narrow. So what I'm going to do now is, yeah, I'm going to do add a bead to each section. And remember I said that each bottom is going to be different. It's because of how you add the beads. I don't know why, but it's just each one is different. And it's all about the spacing. Because see how that folded over? How that's beginning to pull tight? And that's what I want. So for the next go round, what I'm going to do is maybe skip by skip, like not add a bead, but skip a bead. And you'll see it'll get closer. The beads will start um, start covering up this bottom here. But this is the third round, so I'm just going to keep going with the same amount of beads that I started with. That was 18. Now I did have some music in the background, but for some reason it's not playing. So I'm going to have to figure this music thing out. So now we got a little bit of a knot here. And that happens. Sometimes the thread just twists up on itself and it's a knot. So when that happens, what I do is I'll take my piece, dangle my thread high up, let it twist naturally, and uh, just so that it kind of uh, There we go. So, so I'm just adding a bead to every peak, every bead that's peaking. Like this one here is a peak bead. This one here is a peaked bead. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Once you figure out your little method and tricks or whatever, and it turns out the way you like it, then that's good. So as you can already see, as you can already tell, like it's starting to create an enclosement. This little gap is getting smaller. And we're not even finished the third round. Okay, so now, like I can see the edges are starting to roll over upon it, 
upon themselves. So now what I'm going to do is, I think what I'll do, so now this is where I just kind of talk to myself and think, okay, I'm going to add a bead here because I'm not going to go to every peak bead. So I'm going to see this little space. I want to fill this spot here. So what I'm going to do is just add one bead, pull that, and then just leave it just like that. And then now pick up a bead and see this space here, right here. I want a bead to fill that spot. There we go. Now I want a bead to fill this spot. Um, do I want to do that? No, uh, what I'm going to do is not add a bead to that spot because if I get too much beads on the end, it will bunch up. Like for example, this one here, it has a little bit of, I don't know if you can really see, but it's kind of bunched up because I've added too many beads on the end. Hard to tell, but it's kind of bunched up. So that's because I've added too many beads on the end. So I'm going to this spot here. I'm just going to take my thread and just go through that. Just like that. So I didn't add a bead, just pulled the thread through. So now I'm going to add another bead and pull the thread through. There we go. Now I'm happy with that. Now I'll keep adding a bead till I get to the other ed, edge, the other end. And there's really no pattern to this. This is why I like to do it in a solid color because I haven't quite figured out like a, a steady eddy pattern for this. I think the reason why that it goes, each one is different is because of the various sizes of beads. Like there's, there, because of the various sizes of beads of each color, each each bead and each that's why it creates such a different um, need for putting the beads in the different spots if that makes sense okay so now do I want to add a bead in there I think not I'm gonna skip that one and go over here and then now I'm gonna add a bead Okay, see, see how it gets bunchy in there? That's okay because once you get it going, it will flatten out a little bit. Okay, so it's coming together slowly but surely. Okay, so now I'm at this end. So now what I'm going to do is skip putting a bead there because that's those beads are close together. So I'm going to pick that up and just put my needle and thread through that. Now I'm going to add another bead, pick a bead up and go through this one here, just like that. And then this one here, I picked up a bead and I'm just gonna go through that one there. There we go, see how it's starting to fold over the edge? See how it's starting to take shape? 
Okay, so now I'm going to pick up a bead and just keep picking up the bead along the long, the longs, the length of the bottom. So as we get to each end, that's where I'm choosing to not add a bead or choose, choosing not to add a bead or choosing to add a bead. So this spot here, I'm not going to add a bead because it's, they're pretty tight there. So that's okay. I'm just going to put my needle and thread through that bead there, pull it through. And then this little section here, that needs a bead. So there we go. And then I just, sometimes I just tug on the string and see how it's gonna lay. And so far I'm liking how it's looking. So I'm not gonna add a bead because it'll be too bulky. What I'm going to do is take my needle and thread and go through this right here without adding a bead. There we go, just like that. And now I will add a bead. If I can figure out, there we go. And I'm, now I'm on the length, the long part of it. So I just, now I'm going to add a bead to each little, uh, to the peak beads. See, I can still see the peak beads. See those, that's a peak, that's a peak, that's a peak. And then it gets a little different on the edges. And that's where I have to decide to just add a bead to fill up the space or not pick up a bead and pull two beads, beads together. There we go. So now I'm at the, the edge of the lighter, the bottom of the lighter, like the end. So I'm going to pick up a bead and I'm going to go through that one right there. So that will cause the bead that I just added to fall into that space. So it's filling up that space. So this here, I'm going to look. So yep, yeah, so I can add a bead to fill up this section here. Just one bead and pull this, put the bead through there or the needle through there, pull it through and there. So what I'm going to do is this, for this little one, I'm just gonna put, I'm not picking up a bead. I'm pulling my needle and thread through. There we go. Now I'm on the length, the long part of the bottom. So now, just going to keep going around. Work up that one side. And as you can see, I can still see the peak beads. So this is a peak bead, peak bead, peak bead. And I want to fill those spaces. So if I were to do a literal count, I'm not doing 18 beads now. I'm doing less because I've dropped a couple, like I haven't picked up a couple of beads. I've just went around, like I went through the bead without picking up, an, uh, or I went through the next bead without picking up a bead to pull the two beads together. But in this spot here, you can see a little... Uh, square corner edge. See one, two, three, one, two, three. So I want to fill this 
spot here. So I'm going to pick up a bead and I'm going to take my needle and go through this bead right there. And you will see how that space gets filled by that bead there. Just like that. Now for this next one, I'm going to pick up another bead and see this, this space in this here, I want to fill that up. So I'm going to go through this bead right here where my, the tip of my needle is at. There we go. So now that's the edges. So you can see it starting to look nice and finished. But let's carry on. Now I can see the next peak bead and that's this one right here. Shucks, don't like that when that happens, when my pinky grabs the thread, the end of the loop, and then everything goes flying. So, okay, now, as you can see, on this, the, the length of the bottom, the oval shape, you can see it's starting to close, right? So, after a couple more rounds, and I'm using way less speeds than I was at the beginning, so now I'm looking at this section here. Now I'm deciding what I think I'm going to do is just take my needle and thread and go through this bead here. And I think I'm going to go through this one here as well. because I can't really see a space to be filled, except now I'm turned in, turning it around. So now I can see this spot here needs to be filled. So I'm going to pick up a bead here and go through that one. There. Now, picking up a bead, going through the peak. Picking up a bead and going through the peak. Picking up a bead and going through the peak. Okay, so now I'm at that. So I'm going to just go through, I'm not picking up a bead. I'm just going to go through this, choose that bead right there. And pull it. And let's see here. Yeah, so there is a space I can put another bead in that spot right there. So this one I'm going to look for a little uh, thinner bead. So I'm going to go through there. See. Get a good look at how it's turning out. So now what I'm going to do is just take, I'm not picking up a bead. I'm just going to go through that bead there. And now I'm going to pick up a bead, go through that one. So as we get closer to the finished, we should end up almost like a zipper pattern. Like the beads should be almost like they can interlock with each other. And so now I got a space in here. I'm going to pick up a bead and decide 
where I want to put, I think I'm going to go around this one here. See, and that's okay. That's good. So I need to add a few more beads on this. So we're not quite finished the bottom, but I know we're getting close. If I try and match the pull these together, it's going to be too tight and it's going to be too spacey. Like you'll see the thread and that's not really when you see too much thread that doesn't look like a completely finished, a nice neat finish. So I'm trying to get through this bead here. Pick up another bead. Go through that one. And so now I've got a few spaces. It looks like a nice big space. So I'm going to grab a fat bead for this one and just go through this skinny little bead here. There. So for this spot here, I'm not even going to bother to add a bead. So I'm going to go through that one there. And I'm almost tempted to zipper it up, but I'm not going to because it's too much, there's still too much space. So I'm going to keep adding a bead to this spot here. There we go. Now, uh, that almost looks perfect. So I'm going to add another bead, go through that one there. Nice. I like how that looks. Um, Yes, I'm going to add a bead and go through this one to the top, just like that. And there you go. Now to finish it off, all I'm going to do is take an, my needle and thread. Notice how I rotated it. And where I went through the last bead, all I'm going to do is go pick a bead that's close to it, go up. and just weave it through. See where that little opening is? So I wanna make sure that opening right in here, those beads aren't sewn together. So I'm working on sewing those beads together. So this is like zippering it up. There we go. Just gonna finish it by pulling it through that one there. And it always seems like the last bead wants to give me the grief. There we go. And there we go. That's the finished project. So what all I'm gonna do to finish it up is take my thread and needle and weave it through weave it through the bottom lots I guess until I can't weave it no more just to make sure that it uh, won't come loose but there you go that's the finished bottom so as you can see it looks neat really looks cool so when I rotate it
that's the bottom. So there's a tutorial for the how to do the bottom of a lighter case just by beading. And it does look kind of neat. Looks like there's an 8 in it. But anyways, thank you for watching and thank you for requesting this video. And I have a few more ideas and videos to come. So, uh, and thank you for subscribing. That's so cool. So all you happy beaters out there, enjoy.